Don't forget, tomorrow, well, Liverpool now are six points off the top of the table. They go again against Burnley at Anfield, looking for their first goal in four Premier League games. Our coverage starts at two. It's kickoff between Klopp and Deitch at three. Then on Saturday, Aston Villa are back in action. They only played just today. Dean Smith against Steve Bruce. Villa against Newcastle United. Steve Bruce used to manage Villa, of course. That one is at three o'clock on Peacock Premium. Stick around here on NBCSN, top of the hour. We've got two of the NHL's biggest stars going head-to-head -to -head tonight. Just a little bit ago, Conor McDavid and the Oilers arriving to the arena in Toronto as they get set to take on Austin Matthews and the Maple Leafs. Coverage begins at 6 Eastern, immediately following Golza. But we have plenty to get through because, Robbie Earl, mm. Manchester United are two points clear at the top of the table. Yeah. How big a win was that? That was huge. Um, I think yesterday when we were talking about the game, we said in the past, Manchester United would go to Fulham and you know what the result was going to be. Today we didn't and Fulham played well and it was contested and even later on it could have gone different. But this, what I hope this result has done is got Manchester United starting to believe, you know what, we can go to places and win. And for a long time people have been saying, well, Paul Pogba, uh, you know, is he really worth it? Should we move on without him? Over the last couple of weeks, and certainly today, Rebecca, we've seen why he could be the difference maker. He could be the difference between Manchester United winning a title or not. If he stays fit, if he stays focused and keeps contributing in the way he does, and Bruno, we know, will still be Bruno, that star quality in the middle of the field. We'll talk Pogba in just a second. Mm. You were saying there, it's the Sir Alex Ferguson feeling around a Manchester United team going to Fulham that you always just knew that they would win. Mm. It was just never a question. When they went one down, there was still a feeling of... They're probably going to win this. And that, for a Manchester United fan, is absolutely where they want this team to be. Yeah, it's, it's huge. It, it's not ideal. I don't think Solskjaer would want to be conceding the no. first goal in so many away games. But they has, as, as you've just said, they've come back every time they've conceded first and uh, away from home. They've, they've gone on to win the game. So there's a, there's, a real, there's a real mentality strength there. But what I like about this United team is there's more than one match winner. And I think for so long it was, well, if one player didn't do it or another player didn't do it, then they're not going to win the game. But there's numerous amounts of players now that can come up with the goods, and which was shown today. And the talent of Pogba when he's on a day like that is exceptional. He's, he's in incredible. And I think the frustration from United supporters over the years is that they know how good he is, but he's not the consistency. But what we're starting to see now is consistency from him, which does make him one of the best midfielders in the world. And I wonder, Bex, if that's because he's starting to feel something. He's mm -hmm. been good round winning teams, Juventus, the French national team. Is he starting to feel that this team is going in the right, that direction? Well, let's find out how he is feeling. Let's hear from Paul Pogba. Well done, Paul. Well done tonight. A great result. Does that feel like a big win to you? Yes. Uh, it was a hard game. It was very difficult. We knew it would be difficult here against this team that they, they don't give up the press and they're very, uh, they stay compact behind. And... Uh, uh, we concede the goal first half, and after we knew it would be it would be hard now, and we had to come back. Obviously, we, we needed this win, and uh, we got it in the hard way. It was a world-class strike. Did you, did you know it was flying in from the moment you hit it? Uh, I hit it well. Uh, didn't expect this uh, left foot would be like this, but you know we try, and uh, if you don't shoot, you, you don't know what's going to happen. So I'm really glad that uh, the ball went in. It was a beautiful goal and a beautiful victory. That's the most important. Was it better than the goal at Burnley? I would say yes because it's the left foot, so it's not my favourite one, but. The goal is a goal. And you went round the dressing room after the Liverpool game and apologised to your teammates for missing the goal against Liverpool. You made up for it tonight, didn't you? Uh, it's not like I apologised, but I was really mad. I was really mad that I was really close to the goal and uh, I should have, maybe I should have done better. And uh, today, today went in, so I'm really happy for that. And the most important is just that uh, we had the win today, the hard one. Uh, very mature one because we had to defend. We knew it would be like this. We knew it and uh, we done it the hard way and the beautiful way. You know, it's beautiful to win like that. Did you feel you had to respond because Manchester City won just before the game? Did you know the Manchester City result before you kicked off? No, I uh, didn't you know. But uh, Man City, uh, we just know that we have to, to get our results. Uh, we, we knew that we have to win today. And that's it. Always be happy when I win again. So this is this is me, and it's going to be a 
tight title race. Does it look like it's going to be the, a gaggle of clubs at the top and United in there? Yeah, it's Premier League. We know it's always, it's always hard. It will never be easy and we know it. Uh, these big teams as well, uh, very close point. So we have to do us. That's it. What up, Paul? Thank you. Thanks. Still waiting for that question of whether or not he still wants to stay at Manchester United. I don't think that question is going to be asked anytime soon. Really interesting. He says, I'm happy when I'm winning mm -hmm. and I'm happy when I'm on the pitch. That's what he just said there. That's the reason why he is now putting in the performances we've seen because he is playing and United are winning. I, 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 think, it's, I think it's a little bit different than that, my honest opinion. You, you, you look at his time at Juventus, he played with Vidal, he played with Marquezio, played with Cadera, played with Pirlo. Didn't have to be the main man. He signed for Manchester United, and don't get me wrong, it's a huge transfer record. The spotlight is automatically on him. He's got to do the defending, he's got to do the attacking. He's now part of a team where, you know what? He can play his role. He can do what he has to do. He's not being the nearly man, nearly getting to a cross, nearly getting a cross in, nearly stopping something. He's the deep line playmaker now. You've got Fernandez ahead of him that's doing his role. You've got Rashford, you've got Martial at times, you've got Cavani now coming into the team. All of a sudden, Paul Pogba can do Paul Pogba's role. And I think that is massively important for, for a player like Paul Pogba and for a team like Manchester United to have the best players but allow them to go and express themselves without having to do too much. Can I just add a name to, to Paul Pogba and Bruno Fernandes? Fred. Now everybody's favourite. Yeah. God, he didn't get through some work today, by the way. Getting across the pitch, putting his foot in. He gets the block that makes the second goal. And for you, Pogba... a Manchester United quality player, but he didn't have to play well today, Rebecca. Away from home, when it was tough and they were 1-0 down, he was the one putting his foot in and winning the ball back. Do you think, from what you've seen of Paul Pogba the last couple of weeks, that he is now fully invested, long-term, back again at United? I, I, I think he's from a selfish perspective, because he looks and thinks, I can win things at this mm. club now. I don't think he truly believed that he could previously. He might just want to remind his agent where he's <laughs> thinking, because the agent keeps saying he wants to leave, which is not good for him. Same with other Premier League